I didn't know how to read until I was 11. I couldn't speak a word of English. And opportunity for education changed my life. And that's why I'm very, very drawn to women empowerment because I see possibilities because I'm living that possibility. We started with just wanting to give information to women. We needed to teach women about table banking. And as we were doing that, we realized that a lot of the women were having more kids and their daughters were having kids at the same time. So we needed to bring in the component of talking about sexual reproductive health and rights, not just for the women, but for girls as well. It's very important that women, especially young women, are brought up to believe that they can be anything they want to be, regardless of where they come from, because it's only where you're going that matters. The Girls for Leaders program gives sexuality education to kids in school, to provide sanitary pads, to create opportunity for education. We realize that, okay, we are talking about sexual reproductive health, but where are they supposed to get this service? We decided to take sexual reproductive health services to hard to reach communities. And in the last three years, we have managed to treat over 100,000 people. So our Boys for Change program came from the boys themselves. They are the ones who said, Girls are not alone. Girls are not alone. We are here to support girls and fight FGM. I will stand with them to fight against FGM. They champion for girls' rights. And in this particular community, a boy who is 13 has more say than his mother. After the boy-child program kicked off, FGM had stopped in most of the villages because it was being embraced from a point of power. It's a program about hope. It's a program about hope. Everybody has the ability to change if they are given the right platform. And especially rural women and rural girls, given the right space, they can use their voices to champion for what they want. Anything is possible. People walk up to us and say, thank you for giving girls voices. I don't think we give girls voices. They were born with voices. All we do here is create safe spaces for them to use their voices. And we're only engaging the boy child to amplify their voices. That's what we are about, just awakening consciousness. Girls were born with voices. Let them use them.